Welcome back everyone. In this episode, we'll build the staircase, the roofer will remove the tarp on the roof and flood the house, and maybe, just maybe, we'll get some windows in. But first, it's the weekend, and the lovely Riley decided to grace her dad with her presence. So we decided to take a tour around the lakes near my house and just have a chilled day. It's so seldom that any of my kids want to spend time with me anymore that I cherish every second with them. Well, that was Riley and her little stuffed animal that she seems to have to carry everywhere. The first of these clips are all from Fish Lake area, just north of Duluth, Minnesota. And then the rest of them are from Island Lake and the MPNL Park and Swimming Area. After we left here, we went and had a late lunch. And then a stop at our favorite little malt shop along the way home. My passion for ice cream of all sorts is part of the reason why I have this girlish figure. It's a rainy day and our second roofer on this job pulled the tarp off and didn't get the roof dried in before the rain. The first roofer that we had was a no-show. The second was on YouTube trying to figure out how to put ice and water shield down. So good quality roofers I guess. We're taking over now. But first we'll put the staircase in, tear the old one out reframe a little bit, build up the new staircase. As I've said before, the original staircase was only 30 inches wide. 36 meets most codes, but the homeowner wanted 42 inches. So we'll cut the floor open, put another floor joist at 43 inches to allow for drywall on either side of the stairs and build a partial wall below. We then tear out the old wall and staircase, pull the nails and clean up before we start on the new set. We'll build the main landing at the height of the third riser or step to keep all the steps the same seven and a quarter inch height. Then we'll add the pie or wedge shaped one for the turn. 
than normal steps or stringers after. We had a strip of OSB at the height of the rise to hang the stair stringers on. Then we attach the whole works at once to the landing. Since the staircase is just getting carpet, we can attach the treads by gluing and screwing them. Then use OSB as the backs, leaving about a one inch bull nose protruding out for the carpet to wrap around. The two by fours you'll see on the side of the stair stringers are there to keep the stair stringers an inch and a half away from the wall in order for us to drop our drywall down versus cutting all the way around each individual tread. Now with the stairs in, we jump outside to build simple eyebrow returns on the roof line. It just gives it that finished look. We just extend the roof line a foot into the addition, give it a hip, sheet it, and then it'll be ready for shingling. Now that the staircase and the one piece shower tub combo are in, we can finish the walls upstairs. The one thing I didn't film was the ceiling joist going in, but that's kind of self-explanatory. We had to wait on these walls to get the shower tub up, just for the simple fact that it was too large to fit through any door openings after the fact. While we were up here, we finally got our window sizes for the two end dormer windows. So we do more demo and rebuild a bit to fit a 3x5 slider in each one. All I've got to say is the reciprocating saw sure did get a workout on this job. And the demo never ends on this place. Now the homeowner decided to have us install a sliding glass door in the dining room area. I think it was a good idea to do it because it makes it look a little larger and allows more natural light in. But again, more demo.
Now to the back porch. We are placing one row of windows, centering a 3-0 entrance door, and filling the other windows in. If you like these videos, go ahead and like them. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead. It costs nothing and gives me a little incentive to keep it up. Again, thanks for watching. Take care out there.